Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. When I cried to the Lord, He heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attacked me. And trust your cares to the Lord and he will support you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration asking the Lord for strength so that we can have conversion of hearts and the conversion of our lives. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we, For we have sinned, have against, sinned against, against you. you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving Him and walking in His ways, and keeping His commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God hating his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore. He would give you to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, 
he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have just begun our Lenten campaign, our Lenten season, our Lenten observance. Remember, we have just begun. Ash Wednesday is not the end of the Lenten season. It is just the beginning. And for many of us, the ritualization of our Lenten season yesterday, the ritualization of the beginning of Lent, now Jesus reminds us to translate it into our day-to-day -day lives. Kahapon po ay gumawa tayo ng mga ritual. Nilagyan ng abo ang ating mga ulo. Sana ay nagfasting tayo. At sana ay yung iba sa atin na hindi pa nag-aalmusal ay gutom na gutom pa sana ngayon. No? Nararamdaman mo pa ang gutom ng fasting. All of these rituals are just beginnings. Now, today, we begin translating it into our lives. Our first reading today from the book of Deuteronomy reminds us of this. That God gives us a choice in life. Do you choose the path of God, the path of life? Or do you choose the path of the evil one, the path of of death. Parang sinasabi ng Panginoon, sa ginawa ninyo na Ash Wednesday kahapon, pumili na kayo. Do you choose Jesus or do you choose Satan? I assume yesterday you had ashes spread over your head. It means you chose Jesus. Hindi ka naman siguro magpapalagay ng abo kung hindi mo pipiliin si Jesus. And so, by the mere fact that we had ashes poured over our head is a ritual, a symbol that we choose Jesus. And so today, as we celebrate this Mass at the beginning of this Lenten season, after being poured with ashes yesterday, now we tell Jesus, Lord, I choose you and I am ready to take this 40 days of pilgrimage towards your promise. And in our gospel reading today, Jesus also reminds his disciples of rejecting oneself and choosing the cross of Jesus. Not to save oneself, but to take up one's cross daily. This is the path that we have undertaken this Lenten season. And this path is not just a ritual, not just in words, not just in symbols, but this path is taken by us day to day in our daily lives. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kahapon po, Ash Wednesday, ay ginawa nating ritual ang ating pagsisimula ng kwaresma. Naglagay tayo ng abo sa ating mga ulo, nagfasting tayo, hindi kumain ng karne, 
kakaunti ang kinain natin kahapon at nagbigay tayo ng tulong sa kapwa, nagbigay tayo ng tulong sa mga nagugutom kahapon. All of these are ritualizations. Today, we begin and telling ourselves that whatever I have ritualized yesterday, I will apply in my life. And so yesterday, you have poured ashes on your heads. Today, you ask yourself, what are the other sins that I need to let go of? I have poured ashes on my head yesterday. Today, I will ask myself, I myself, what other sins do I need to let go? What other sins do I need to ask for forgiveness? Yesterday, we had fasting and abstinence. Let us ask ourselves, what other things do I need to let go from my life? Other things that weigh heavy on myself. Ano pa ang ibang bagay na dapat i-let go ko na nagpapabigat sa buhay ko? Yesterday, we gave to the poor, to the hungry. Tanungin po natin ang ating mga sarili ngayon. What other things do I need to share with others? What other things can I do to help many people in this time of Lent? Yesterday were rituals. Today, we make it true in our lives. And these 40 days, day to day, we will be taking seriously whatever we have begun yesterday in Ash Wednesday. My dear brothers and sisters, as we have begun this Lenten season, as we have already ritualized everything, today, let us tell Jesus, Lord Jesus, I choose your path. I choose life. Amen. Please stand. Our Lord Jesus calls us to follow Him, to carry the cross after Him, and to entrust to Him all those who suffer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that as members of the Church, we may imbibe in our lives the spirit of the cross and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of suffering people and may show commitment to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who are suffering, the poor, the sick, the handicapped, and prisoners may, ne may never fail into despair, but experience the comfort of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are alone in life may find companions who are willing to help them bear their crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be one with God and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
God, our Father, the passion and death of your Son brought life to the world. Help us to recognize the crosses and sufferings, not just in the great trials of life, but in day-to-day -day choices. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar that bestowing on us your pardon, our obligations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise. We acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full, full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Almighty God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead them by that path, we pray, to you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.